So mega floods, which are terrestrial water flows with discharges exceeding 1 million cubic feet per second. So there's roughly, say, 35 cubic feet in a cubic meter. So you can kind of get a sense of, of the scale here. And they are the largest known freshwater floods with flows comparable in scale, though of shorter duration, and ocean currents. Although there are no modern examples of mega floods, uh, and thankfully for that, because if there were modern uh, examples of mega floods, we might not even be here right now. But it's important to, to bear in mind that we're looking at a phenomenon that's very distinct from anything we've uh, experienced in modern historical times. A prominent example is the paleo flooding caused by a late Pleistocene outburst from glacial Lake Missoula, which formed when the Purcell trench lobe of the Cordilleran Ice Sheet extended south from British Columbia to the basin of modern Pend Oreille Lake. The ice thereby impounded the Clark Fork River drainage to the east, forming a lake extending into western Montana with a water volume of about 2,500 cubic kilometers, which is roughly about 620 cubic miles of water. That's a lot of water. Imagine now 600 of those, and then it's suddenly released. 